Hello, all you beautiful internet sluts. I am Drunk Farmer. This is the basement, the award-winning basement from Bethany, Nebraska, in an undisclosed location in Bethany, Nebraska, and I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> kind of sound like a spy novel, didn't it? Anyway, let's talk about this. Internet rumors. What you read on the internet, do you believe it? Do you not believe it? Or do you think the internet's just full of shit? <laughs> it's your decision, your choice. But yes, rumors have been around since the dawn of time. Scutterbutt, whatever, has been around since the dawn of time. Whatever tall tales people have told about guys like Paul Bunyan. Yes, people have told stories throughout the ages, throughout the decades, and yet they still tell stories, the tall tales of the internet. Yes, when the internet came about, people were writing stories. Some of them were true, some of them weren't. Some of them were so far out of whack that you just kind of scratched your head and laughed about it. But that is the internet. Yes, the internet is so full of tall tales. So are people. And yet, we go back to just basic people who have creative minds and who like to, tall, to tell a tall tale. I have an example of one. A few nights ago, I came home, got on the internet, saw this guy streaming, so I started listening to it, and I came in to the middle of a conversation that him and his viewers were having. And I thought, oh dear God, what are they talking about? So I listened a little bit more. I kind of gathered some information. So I turned him off, got, a, got, on my, got on the computer, looked around, and lo and behold, this was a story off the internet or somewhere. I don't know where it's from. The guy, the, the guy whose stream is from Canada. So I, I'm assuming, I don't know what news station they picked up this story on. I have no idea. But this story, I think, reads like a Tom, Tom Clancy novel. Mm, it does. And so, so I started reading the article. I found the article on, 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 online. I started reading the article. I thought to myself, well, this is just a load of crap. The article is based on a few things, a conspiracy for all you conspiracy freaks out there, because we all know you love a good, good conspiracy, and this is just adding to the list of many conspiracies that we have that is going on right now. It's a conspiracy that SEAL Team 6 did not kill Osama bin Laden. Apparently, we killed a body double, according to a CIA whistleblower who has, in my opinion, a very creative mind. <laughs> and how this story came out is so convenient because it's so close to the election time. Uh huh. How come this story didn't come out two, three years ago? Oh, we just we decided to hang on to it, so you know during the elections we'll just have it come out right before the elections. If this story is true, this story would be a categorized five shitstorm in Washington. People would be running around trying to save their asses, burning documents, and all that fun stuff. Yes, it's true. I'm not kidding you. This story would damage people's lives just like that. If, if this story was true, Donald Trump would be all over this, like gasoline on fire. Yeah, it's not true, folks. I don't think it's true. Because you got to remember, when we killed Bin Laden, it was during the Obama-Biden uh, administration. And they were in that room at that time when the, all this went down, along with Hillary Clinton and a, and a few other higher-ups. If it was a body double, they would have just swept it under the carpet and say, all right, he's still alive. We'll go out and find him again. 
So, like I said, this can ruin Joe Biden's career. This can ruin Obama's career, Hillary Clinton. There'd be so many investigations. Joe Biden might as well just concede the presidency because if this story was actually true, this would be the nail in his coffin, pretty much. And, you know, guess who'd be president again? <laughs> but I don't think it's true because, like I said, it'd be a just a cat categorized It'd be a five on the categorized scale of shitstorms. It would be a cat five shitstorm. And there's another thing, another part of this story. Yes. Apparently, we had frozen assets from the Iranian government. And apparently, supposedly, that, oh, that Obama and Biden unfroze $158 billion of frozen assets from the Iranian government to pay them to hide bin Laden in Iran. According to the CIA whistleblower, <laughs> I don't understand that, but supposedly that's what they want, the CIA whistleblower wants everybody to believe. From the creative minds. Um, also, another part of this story was that the CIA whistleblower said also that President Obama gave the order to basically um, uh, get rid of SEAL Team 6. Um, yeah, this, like I said, like I have a Tom Clancy novel, okay? It is. It's just, to get, I'll give the person A for effort with the creative mind BS. I do. But all in all, I don't think this ever ha happened. I think this story is fabricated. It's all too convenient right now. Um, like I said, it's so close to the election. Um, why has this been CIA whistleblower been holding on to this story for, for the last few years? And, and now, they're, now they're telling the tall tale now? All the conspiracy freaks probably just freaked out and go, really? Oh my God, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. You know what I'm saying? But it's a load of crap, a load of bullshit. I don't think it ever happened. Like I said, Donald Trump would be all over it fast, like uh, like gasoline on fire. Um, Like it, it, Joe Biden would, it would probably have to concede the presidency and his campaign and just go into hiding for the rest of his life. Obama would probably have to go to hiding in his pot, go in hiding for the rest of his life. You know, there'd be investigations all over the place. People would be freaking out. You know. But, you know, sometimes internet stories are true. And sometimes the internet stories are not true. And sometimes the internet is full of shit. But what the hell do I know? I'm just a guy in a basement. So, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Or you can email me at drunkfarmer67 at gmail.com. Love to hear from you people. If you have any takes on this story or you think this story is true or think this story is true or not, let me know. I'd like to hear from you. Or you can write about other past shows. You can comment on those. I don't care. I want to hear what you have to say, people. Instead of sitting there in the dark. Till then, I'm out of here, everyone. We'll see you later.